Let's study scalable PCA in Spark. Mm, there are three PCA APIs in Spark ML library. In the data frame based API, there's a PCA API. And here are some links for the source code in Scala and the Scala documentation. And this is API, right? So this is API that you can use it. Um, but uh, these are not uh, likely to be scalable because it does not have a SVD implementation. Right? So therefore, if you want to use PCA for big data, most likely you need to use RDD-based API in Spark, which is from the row matrix module. Right? So it has two modules that, uh, two methods that you can compute PCA. One is compute principal components. It's a very long name. Uh, um, but uh, um, there is another one, which is what we already just covered, which is more scalable, is a compute SVD API method, right? So, and uh, you can go to the source file over here and uh, you can see, right? So you can see um, the, the code, right? So um, even for compute principal, components right? so it will be this is longer and explain variance I just give you more and and if you dig into the code actually you can see right so when n greater um, the n is uh, the number of uh, uh, in here right so is the number of features I believe um, we will look at it later right so n is when n is very big, you will um, it will use just use compute SVD right so um, that is uh, the three PCA APIs right you can use three these three APIs to compute your PCA in Spark and uh, let us look at uh, the scalable version of SVD compute SVD in Spark library, which is RDD API. And uh, um, just, just be um, careful that uh, here they use uh, slightly different meanings um, for the notation, right? So U has a dimension of M times K, sigma is K by K, that is the rank, how many components we are going to keep, and uh, V is of dimension N, times k, right? So um, the assumption in the SVD is that the dimensionality will n will be smaller than the number of sample n. Right? So that is the, the general assumption, right? It doesn't mean that you have to have this, right? But it's just saying that the code is written with that um, assumption, right? So default, and uh, Spark has implemented different methods based on the potential computational cost, right? So for example, if N is small, just to have less than 100, or if K is large compared with um, N, then it will compute the Greenian matrix or scatter matrix first, and then still compute these uh, eigenvalues, right? Compute the eigenvalues as, as we have studied as right? so the relationship, you can go from eigenvalues uh, and to eigen decomposition to SVD, right? So, and they will compute this locally, right? Compute this locally. And otherwise, they will compute uh, um, a transpose times A times uh, one of the vector V in a distributed way and send it to a R pack to compute 
these scatter matrix eigenvalues and eigenvectors on the driver nodes. And uh, you can, by looking at the source code, right, you can learn what we had discussed just now, only it's like n smaller than 100 and k greater than this and n less than that, right? So, um, and uh, this is uh, the, the explanation, right? n is small, and right? so that's what we said. Um, it's, you see, it is very interesting. I still compute um, eigenvalues, right? Com compute eigenvalues, but notice here, it just uh, deals, deals with it uh, very differently, right? It use um, different approach to compute the required decomposition, right? So there are basically three options, local AR pack, local LA pack, and the distributed AR pack, right? So that is a distributed um, AR pack, right? So that's the three options, right? Local SVD, local, local eigen decomposition, and the distributed eigen decomposition, right? So these are the um, fine details in uh, SVD in Spark. Okay, so that uh, um, is a scalable PCA in Spark. In our last section, um, I will talk about the software development life cycle, which is uh, very important if you work on practical projects. So let's. Uh,